Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. Today's video is a fun one yet again because I'm testing Warzone's render worker count question of what is the best render worker count to use for Warzone 2? And truthfully, a lot of people have thrown out a lot of different answers about that. But I thought I'd test it myself as it is very fun to do and also fun to experiment with this type of stuff. And I want to inform you guys about what is actually the best. So, I first want to show you guys how to get to Warzone's render work account. And also, if you're wondering, I have put up everything in the background so you see how I'm going to be running these tests. Yes, for this test specifically, I turned my 5800X3D back to completely stock so we don't introduce any instability from a PBO2 tuner undervolt. With that said, you've got the GPU settings here, the RAM settings right here if you're curious, and I'll quickly show you how to open up the render work account. So you're going to want to go to the File Explorer. Once you're in the File Explorer, go to Documents. And once you're here, go to Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is the first Call of Duty Modern Warfare, so it's Modern Warfare 1. This is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Click on it, go to Players, and once you're in Players, go to Options 3.cod.22. I mean Click on it and scroll all the way down. Right here, you're going to see the thread count for handling the job queue. Now, I'm testing the 5800X3D, which is a 16-thread, 8-core CPU. What I found until today is that the best render worker count has been 7 for me, but I never really tried to set it above 7 or 8, so I'm going to do just that today. I'll first test the in-game benchmark, where I'll just show you the results straight up and won't bother with any of the actual, you know, benchmarks running in the background. And then we're gonna go and test Warzone 2 with the best results from the benchmark. So the two best that I found performers of the benchmark, I'll test in Warzone 2. Let's get things started. Alright, these are render work account 4, 5, 6, and 7. And as you can clearly see, render work account 7 has the least CPU bottleneck with the highest average frame rate and the highest 5% lows and 1% lows. As you can clearly see though, the 1% lows are pretty similar between all of them, but the low 5% is far lower on the lower render work accounts. Albeit, I do have to mention that once you're above 5 and 6, essentially at 6, you're fine in terms of performance. Let's see how the higher render work accounts compare against these. Alright, and taking a look at the higher render work accounts, we've got 8, 9, 10, and 11. And as you can clearly see, the results are pretty much the same or worse depending on the render work account. So, 8 currently shows 22% bottleneck while 7 showed the 19. And the average FPS is 5 lower on the CPU than it was on the uh, 7 render work account. And the achieved results average FPS was also slightly lower as a result. But for 9, what you're seeing is the average FPS being the same with more CPU bottleneck. Which is a bit weird to see. And not to mention that the average CPU FPS was lower yet again by a couple of frames. Yes, this all seems to not be making a huge difference already. But clearly running on lower threads is actually better if you've got just the right amount. So, the default for Modern Warfare 7, and for the moment 7 remains the strongest. As you can see, the second you reach 10 and 11, things are already just not scaling a lot at, at all anymore, and the low 5% are beginning to suffer. Not to mention that the bottleneck on the CPU seems to be getting bigger if you put these higher thread counts on the 5800X3D. Not only, you wait till you see 12 and 16 render work account. And I'm saying only those two because once you see the results, you'll see why I didn't even bother testing the rest. And for the final results, we've got the 12 render work account with an undervolt, normal 12 render work account, and the 16 render work account. The reason I've skipped 13, 14, and 15 render work account is because the results were surprisingly uninteresting. Anything between 12 and 16 is equally as unusable as 16 was, and already at 12, you might as well dial it back down to 10, 9, or 8, and you'd be way better off. But regardless, the best results were indeed 7 and 9. So for that reason specifically, I'm going to use 7 and 9 render work account within Warzone, look in one spot, and see if the frame rates are any different. Let's check it out. And while you might notice that a 9 render work account has better 1% lows and ever so slightly better average frame rates, they are pretty much the same. The CPU usage is higher on the 9 render work account and as a result could drive your CPU to be hotter, requiring either an undervolt or better cooling. So keep that in mind. My recommendation? Run whatever. 789 all do about the same. And with that said guys, 
The conclusion is pretty simple. 7, 8 and 9 most likely perform identically. Anything higher is diminishing returns or gets significantly worse. Anything lower is just outright worse. So my personal recommendation, stick with 7 or with 9. If you want lower temperatures, stick with 7. If you want 2 to 3 extra FPS, stick with 9. Do keep in mind, 9 on a 5800X3D does in fact make the CPU 5 degrees hotter than on 7. So it's quite a big difference, just keep that in mind. And I do want to preface that this only works for 8 core 16 thread CPUs. If you have a different type of CPU, this would not directly apply to you. With that said guys, thank you for all the recent support and thank you for watching today's video too. I appreciate all the likes and comments and I would greatly appreciate it if you do subscribe. With that said, one of my videos actually did hit 40,000 views, nearly, and uh, I got a bit overwhelmed with comments, but I do highly appreciate all of you that have subscribed from that video and from the following videos after. With that said, I hope to see you again next time, and peace.